Hey, what's going on, my friends? It's your man, Adam A. Spencer. And today we are diving into how I plan to use a credit loan to help with building my credit. And I know a lot of you out there might be saying, well, you heard how you, you know, know a friend or maybe you personally got a credit loan or uh, uh, a car loan and actually saw your credit score fall. Well, we'll dive into that. I have an article that breaks down this in a much more uh, detailed and elaborate way than what I would be able to do. But ultimately, when it's all said and done, you absolutely can build your credit with a car loan. And I'm not saying this is for everyone. I certainly don't recommend it. Um, if that's, you know, your main intention, if that's your main purpose, um, ultimately needing, you know, the car for a legit reason, I think probably should be, you know, your first priority. Um, in my case, and, and even me, um, you know, I'm not a big fan of like loans. I'd rather buy a car outright, but I understand there are times when you're in a crunch or even, you know, from a business standpoint, um, it just might make more sense. And, you know, all of my channels, oftentimes I'm really speaking to people who are self-employed or business owners. And as someone who is part of the gig economy, maybe you have your own, um, you know, small little business that you uh, uh, get clients from on uh, social media, maybe Facebook or Instagram, um, Pinterest. Ultimately, you are a business. And although you might not be making a fortune, if you're using your car as a means of driving to clients, driving to customers, um, you know, going to events that are going to help you in the long run with your business, well, generally it's going to be um, a deductible. It's going to be something that you can use as a business expense. Um, and of course, this isn't legal or financial advice, but it's something that I would advise you to look into. And it, if you'd happen to fall in that position, that place where you can kind of qualify for a lot of these deductions and write-offs and whatnot, getting a car loan might not be such a bad idea. Um, and again, it also will help you with, potentially help you with building your credit. Um, we're going to dive into this article. I'm not going to read the whole thing and everything, but um, I do want you guys to uh, hear a little more detail about this because I think a lot of people do have questions about why or how. Um, for me personally, I'm in a pl I'm in a place right now where uh, you know my credit score is pretty good, but it is lacking in a few different areas. And um, ultimately, going this route could be one way, one approach I can take, one strategy to implement that will help me with building up my credit. And again. It's not the sole reason. It's not the only reason why I'm taking out a car loan, but it is helping me with my overall, you know, my, my general position, life in general, being more comfortable. Um, but my business, that's what it really comes down for. You know, for me, you guys see, I'm sure the Adam Helper sweatshirt. Well, you know, my I, I grind, I grind. So um, for me, it's a no brainer, but I do want you guys to know how a car loan uh, can affect your credit. And it says getting a new car loan has two predictable effects on your credit. It adds a hard inquiry to your credit report, which might temporarily shave a few points off your score. And refinancing a car has a similar effect on your credit. It adds to your credit history, which has a positive impact, assuming you pay on time and every time. If you pay as agreed, the credit score points you temporarily lose when you applied should be more than offset by the ones you gain from a history of on-time payments. So again, yes, you probably will, you know, lose a few points on your credit report um, when you first go about getting your loan. However, because you are going to pay on time every month, you're not going to fall behind, you're not going to slip up. Well, that's going to more than offset that, you know, temporarily that little ding that you experience when you first get your car loan. So if you're not someone who can be responsible, pay all of your payments on time and consistently, yeah, I certainly don't recommend going this route. But if you can, this might potentially be an option 
that you should consider or could consider. I don't want to say should, could consider, um, again, depending on your particular situation. Now, auto loans on your credit report. Now, this part down here kind of gets into, again, a big reason why, another big reason why this is so, you know, kind of critical for me or, or vital for me to, you know, as a, as a, I guess you can say, effective strategy to implement when it comes to building up my credit. I'm trying to get to that 800 club, so I've got a ways to go. But this, I think, could be one approach that will help me in We'll uh, dive into that in a moment. But as you can see, it says your auto loan will likely affect your credit report and your credit score. When you first look at your credit reports, you may feel overwhelmed by the data. To see your car financing, turn to the page on reports provided by each of the three major credit boroughs that list your car loan account and look at these two categories. Number one is type of accounts. An auto loan is typically reported as an installment account. Other types of installment accounts include mortgage loans and student loans. Those are payments of the same amount made for a set number of payments. Because a portion of your credit score is derived from credit mix, getting a loan, specifically a car loan, may help your credit profile if you don't already have an installment loan. This for me, my friends, is huge because I don't have any mortgage loans. I don't have no student loans now. So having a car loan is actually going to affect that credit mix component, which isn't a huge, you know, it's not like it's, it's as important as your credit utilization or something like that, but it does still play a mix. It's, it does still factor into your overall score. So for me, this is a, a major, uh, uh, another major reason why it does make sense for me to consider taking this uh, uh, approach when it comes to building up my credit. Um, and then we see current status. If you're always on time with your car payments, your credit report will note that your car loan is current or paid as agreed. Because payment history has the biggest influence on scores, staying current on your payments could benefit your credit score significantly. Should you fall 30 or more days behind, you risk having your car repossessed by your lender and ruining your credit. So, again, very important to note that this is not for everyone. Taking out loans in general, I don't recommend it to most people. I think until you can really get your uh, kind of budgeting down and your money management skills in place, I definitely would say hold off on you know, car loans and, and, you know, if it's not needed, if you can get by with buying something for the time being, that's gonna, yeah, it'll be used. It won't be all flashy and stuff. I usually go the used route. Ge generally speaking, it, it, it just makes more sense for me personally. Um, you know, and I think most people it does too. However, I get it. Most people want something flashy. You want to show off. So you go the new route for me. The only reason I'm considering uh, a new route is because of the timing and getting, you know, basically I need to get a van. I need to get a, a, a vehicle, both of which are more so for work. Like they're both going to be something I use for work anyway. It's not about me trying to impress people and get something flashy. And I'm just, yo, I'm, I want to get a Mercedes, whatever. And no, that's, it's foolish to take out a loan for something that's not going to help you make money, create more money. You know, if it's only going to cost you money and waste your money, then yeah, personally, I, you know, but to each his own, I get it. If you want to showboat, you want to look flashy, you want to look the part, do you? I'm not hating. I don't want to come off as a hater, but um, for me personally, it's not me. Um, when I get this loan, I'm not getting something flashy to impress other people. You know, I'm, I'm getting it because I need it for uh, uh, my business, basically, as another kind of income stream. But also, I mean, ultimately, I do need a general commuter car from day to day, place to place. And, uh, you know, it's, it's all in one for me. So it makes sense, but it's certainly not something like, as you, as you can see here, it can play a negative role with, um, not only a credit, but I mean, the car can get repossessed in general. So that bad boy, you know, you might act or think it's yours, but it still isn't yours until it's completely paid off. Let's, let's keep that in mind. Okay. Let's, let's remember that one thing. So, um, Finishing up, this says, if you make all of your auto loan payments on time, your credit reports show that over time, 
uh, great. But if an error pops up, for instance, an on-time payment is posted as late, consider filing a dispute. Remember, you can get free copies of your credit reports every 12 months. And this is something that also, I haven't made a video on it. I gotta make a video showing you guys how you can get your credit score for free and get your credit reports for free um, every 12 months, once a year. It doesn't cost you a dime. And ultimately it will help you get more insight to your overall credit you know, situation. But my friends, this for me, credit mix, is uh, a major reason why I'm also gonna, you know, I've been considering going this route. I'm continuing to strive to increase my credit score, as you guys may have seen in my last or second to last video. Um, you know, we, we, we keep working our way. It's between that 760 and 770 club now, which is good. Um, next, you know, I wanna get to that next tier, 770 and 780, or just keep it consistent. But I know once I get a loan, it will negatively impact my credit score. So right now I'm basically like, okay, let's improve my credit score a little bit more, make sure it's, you know, in that 770 club, go about getting a loan. It will drop it a little bit, knowing what's happen happening, knowing my plan, knowing that I'm going to stick to my plan. I'll be fine with that because in the long run, my credit score will bounce up and go higher because of the new credit line, the new consistent payments that I'll be making and the new as they called it down here, credit mix. And, you know, hey, maybe I'll include a link to this article as well for you guys if you do want to check this out in case uh, you're a little more curious about, you know, what exactly I'm talking about when I say credit mix and whatnot. I think I have a video talking about the different factors of your credit score um, in which it's kind of included there, but this article probably breaks it down in, in even more details. So I'm going to wrap it up there, my friends. I hope you guys found this video helpful if so definitely smash that like button and of course subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell if you guys are new here and um yeah much appreciation for watching what do you guys think about getting a car loan to help you with building up your credit have you done it have you are you thinking about it you know did someone kind of prevent you from moving forward with it let me know what you guys think let me know um if if you've actually done it. And if you think that this is something that will work well for me as I continue to move forward with building up my credit and also getting a new vehicle for work. <laughs> All right, my friend. So much appreciation for watching. You guys already know though, I got to keep it moving, but I'll see you in the next video. Peace.